You're watching 41 Action News. Good morning, I'm Taylor Hymnus. Jackson County Executive Frank White Jr. recommending $3 million in property tax cuts for the county. In a proposal announced on Sunday, nearly 200,000 property owners would pay less in taxes than they did last year. White is proposing a one-time reduction of about 16%. The release from his office said that homeowners with a $100,000 home who paid $133 in property taxes last year would pay $111 if this were to pass. The county executive's office claims the proposed cut will still get enough revenue generated for the 2019 county budget, but the Jackson County Legislature still has to approve that proposal. They meet today at 1. Today marks day eight of the UAW member strike against GM. Employees started picketing last Monday at midnight when their four year contract with the company expired and negotiations broke down. The main sticking point continues to be salaries and health benefits. Your forecast is coming up. I'm meteorologist Lindsay Anderson and it is quite a foggy start out there. Dense fog advisory in place till nine o'clock today as visibility has dropped below a half a mile to a mile. Once the fog lifts by mid morning, we're talking abundant sunshine and nice temperatures in the upper 70s. Humidity stays low out there today, so hopefully you can get out and enjoy this afternoon. You can get the latest news and weather anytime at KSHB.com. Cutting the cable cord? 41 Action News is now on Roku. Search KSHB, add our channel, and you're set. All of our newscasts stream live. No other station in Kansas City can say that. Get clear, complete coverage on 41 Action News now on Roku.